What's up guys? In today's video, I want to follow up on my previous video on indexing issues and show you a little bit of success I've gotten now getting two of my sites unstuck from the Google index problems. So these were two sites that could just not index no matter what for a long time. And in my previous video, I said, look, I wasn't having much luck with manual indexing, but now that a little time has passed, I am starting to see some success. So I want to share that with you today. So just a quick recap on some of the indexing issues that we're seeing. Uh, it looks as if Google's not really reporting the results properly. So there's three ways you can check in the Google index. The first one is to go to Google search console and take a look at the crawled not index log in Google search console. The second way is to go to Google search console again and use the inspect URL tab. And the third way is to do a site colon search in Google itself. So I'll just walk you through each of the three of these screenshots. So the first one here is the Google search console coverage tab. If you go to coverage and then click excluded, it'll show you all of your excluded pages. You can see here that there are for nichesafari.com five current crawled currently not included or crawled currently not indexed. And there are zero discovered currently not indexed. For a lot of websites, you end up with 50, 60, 100 articles in the crawled currently not indexed that shouldn't be in that log. Now, if you have a lot of files in that log and you're not sure whether they should be indexed or not, my previous video, I'll link it above, does go through which ones should be in that crawled not indexed log and which ones shouldn't be. So it's worth checking that out. The problem with this method is that oftentimes things will say that they're crawled and in the index, but they're just not showing on Google results. And similarly, some things will say that they're in the crawled, not indexed log, but you're actually getting clicks from Google for those articles. So it seems as if Google Search Console doesn't know what it's doing. It's not syncing properly. So you can't trust these results. The next method is if you just click the inspect URL at the top of Google Search Console, you can inspect any of your URLs. So here you can see that I'm inspecting nissafari.com forward slash contact, just my contact page on my website. And it says URL is on Google with a green tick to say that it is possible to see it in Google searches. Again, I find this to be inaccurate. Sometimes it'll say that the URL is not on Google, but then in the crawl log, it says that it is not excluded. So it should be on Google. So there's conflicting information a lot of the time within Google Search Console. It's just not syncing properly. There's something wrong with Google. You can't trust either of these two methods. The third method is to go straight to Google itself and do a site colon search and then the keyword that your article is trying to rank for to see if you can force Google to display that web page on its search results. This is the method that I use the most because I want to see in Google that my article can be displayed if I try to force Google to display it. So all you need to do is site colon and then your domain name and then the keyword that you're trying to search. So let's jump to the two case studies to show you how I got myself unstuck for two sites. What I've done is I've created a spreadsheet with the URL down one side and then the site colon search with the keyword in the next column. And then in the subsequent columns, I have the date in which I did the check and uh, I'll put it in red if I can't find the article using the site colon search and green if I can find the article using the site colon search. The reason I have all of the site colon domain.com keyword one, that column is so I can just click it, copy it, paste it, and it just speeds the process up really quickly to just copy and paste each of those little keywords to search on Google to check whether or not the article is showing in the Google index or not. So what I do is I write MI if I try to manually index or force index the article that day. I'll just put up a screen right here that'll show you what I mean by doing the force index that just request indexing button in Google search console. So I'll do MI if on that day I tried to request another index. And then I come back a couple of days later and I check all over again to see whether or not the article has stuck in the index or not. So here are my results from a few case studies. So the first one is a three month old site. It started with about 177 articles. It's got around about 230 now. You can see that most of the articles were indexed, but some weren't. And if you go down this column, you can see a couple of interesting things. So for example, one of them is sometimes an article will display in a forced site search in Google one day, and then the next day it'll disappear again. 
in these instances, the article is jumping in and out of the index, but it's not sticking in the index. So what I'm doing is I'm going down and I'm checking every single article once every couple of days, doing it red or green. And if it's red, I'll manually index as many as I can until I've exceeded my quota. And then I'll come back a couple of days later, check again to see if it's stuck or not. What has ended up happening is that usually say I manually index 10 per day, maybe seven or eight of them will stick and one or two of them won't stick and I'll have to try to manually index them once more. But over time, my percentages are improving. So here you can see day one I only had 22 out of 117 that were not in the index. So that was 19% of my articles were not managing to stick to the index. Day three, I came back, 20 of them were in the index. So only two of them that I manually indexed stuck, but that got me down to 11%. I think I've got my data on. I think day one was 29. Day five, seven out of 177. So it dropped to 4% and day seven, I got it down to one out of 177. So only one article was not in the index. And I think that's that because that is because that one article is essentially a cannibalization of another article on my site. And I think Google looks at them and says, well, you've already got an article about this topic. I'm not going to re-index a second one for you. But in general, that is showing that with a bit of persistence with this manual indexing, I have managed to get all of my articles to stick in the index. And now I'm going to go back and check once every week or two weeks to make sure that they've stayed stuck. And I'm sure each time I do that recheck, three or four of them will have unstuck from the index and I'll have to try to manually index them again. So it is a more time consuming process, but it has managed to get me unstuck. And I'll show you the results in Google Search Console here. So you can see the coverage has slowly gone up each day that I've tried to do a little bit of manual indexing as more and more articles have started to stick. And you can see here that this was a site that was really stuck for the first couple of months. Even though I'd usually say, well, wait six months, these are really, really low competition articles. These are articles no one else on the internet's writing about, so they should be indexing pretty quickly. And you can see here, you can tell the exact day that I started to do the manual indexing. This was more zoomed in the day after, and it was just a massive jump. It was like a cliff with that, uh, that purple line just going straight up. But as time has gone by, and I've done that manual indexing every couple of days. It's just gone up and up and up. And you can see I'm getting around about 20 clicks a day from Google at the moment for this three month old site since I started doing that manual indexing. Okay, case study two is a six month old site with around about 40 articles in it. And this is another example of one that is a much harder one to get to stick to the index. I was going about once a week and checking to try to manually index all these articles. And you can see here between the 24th of May and 29th of May, literally none of the articles were sticking. So what I was doing is I was just coming back every week, being persistent about it until one week, all of a sudden they started to stick. So for this, if you've got a site that's just not sticking, even though you're doing the manual indexing, you just have to keep trying month on month on month until finally something will start happening where they'll start sticking. Once again, you can see the results here. There was a big spike the days that I started to do that manual indexing. And then if we go down further, you can see even a spike in web clicks from two per day. And then suddenly it's spiked to 15 in one day. So overall, this is just to say manual indexing does seem to be working eventually. You just need a lot of persistence with it and to understand that sometimes these manual indexed articles aren't going to stick, but keep coming back once a week or so until they do start to stick. And then when they start to stick, come back once every two or three days and try to get them all to stick in the index. And hopefully you can get your site unstuck from these manual indexing issues that have been plaguing Google for you know 12 months or so now. The last thing I would say is that once I've started to get articles to stick, it seems to be easier for new articles to become indexed. I think that's because once you've got articles stuck to the index and you're sending traffic from Google, Google is generating data from those clicks through to your site and Google can start to trust your website once you've got those clicks. It's just a bit of a catch 22 that when you don't have those clicks, Google's not generating that data, so it still doesn't trust you and you're stuck in this cycle of distrust from Google. But as soon as you get those clicks, things will start improving. So just keep on trying and trying and trying until you get a couple of clicks a day and Google can start generating that information and start trusting your site. And before you know it, hopefully all of your articles will start indexing without you even trying to do that force indexing method.